Hey, it's John and Mike, BritAshShoes.com, and uh, we're going to do something different. I don't know if you know this, but sometimes January is known as Dry January. Hey, at least my social media feed tells me that, because somehow they know that I run some kind of home brewing blog, and I may have interests in drinking beer. And, you know, maybe, just maybe, probably due to some other demographic information they have about me, that maybe I want to take a break from that for this month. I don't know if that's all true, but certainly I'm getting a lot of ads for hop water and hop tea. And there are commercial entities that actually make this stuff and sell it and I can buy it through Instagram. Who knew? Um, it was once something that was brought up and we thought, hey, why don't we give this a try? Not that I'm saying that I'm taking part in dry January or anything like that, but always forward with our thinking about what else can we be doing with all these wonderful toys we have in terms of brewing beer at home, like what about uh, making hop water and hop tea. So I will uh, take this glass and right out of the old U keg, I uh, was able to carbonate water with um, hops Love it. in it. <laughs> Love it. Here's your hop water. Okay. And then in here, if you want to, this is a hopped, it's hop tea. Hop tea. It's only hop tea because it has hops and also some uh, tea, which I'll talk about. Oh, so it's a little it's bit. It's actually hop tea. Yes, there is tea in it. There's oh, that's exciting. other things too. But we'll talk oh. about the hop water first because that's hop what I poured first. first. Okay. Um, so looking oh. up this type of beverage, I uh, found uh, a video and post from Clawhammer. Uh -huh. And uh, this is their recipe for it. And I followed it pretty closely. Um, so this is um, about, it's three quarters of a gallon of water or 2.8 liters of water. Um, 1.5 grams of hops. Their recipe had a gallon and two grams, but uh, I had some mosaic Lupamax <laughs> and I just used oh. a little a smidge. Okay. 1.5 grams of hops went into this. It's awesome. Um, a squirt of lemon juice, lemon juice to, from concentrate. Uh, that's what they did. I was going to, for you, I was going to like slice a lemon in half and juice it. And then I thought, forget I'm that. I'm not that important. <laughs> I just said like for a squirt of this stuff, just to bring up, they, they had this whole thought like, let's yeah. bring up the, uh, that's the acidity. Drop the, drop, yeah, this, yeah. drop the pH, yeah, raise the acidity, it. right? I like that idea. Okay. So here's the, they, for whatever reason, they wanted you to take that water and boil it for 10 minutes. I did. Get some oxygen out of it. Yeah, know. that's exactly what they said. And then uh, what we did was uh, cool that water down to 175 degrees Fahrenheit or 77 degrees Celsius. Add the hops, add the lemon, let it sit for 20 minutes. Then chill it down to um, room temperature. I have to because I don't think this UK can take uh, temperatures all that uh, high in the old uh, temperature range. So I did that, I just brought it, I just put it outside. <laughs> Here in our New England winters, you can do that. Yep. Uh, put a cover on it first, of course. Uh, and then when it was, you know, cool to the touch, I put it in here, carbonated, and that's what you have here for the hop water. What do you think? Does this beat out your- I'll La tell you, when we, when, we, when we were in the planning stages of this experiment, I was like, yeah, let's do it because I know a lot of people like huh. it and a lot of people probably want to see it and stuff. And But I thought for me, I was like, this is sort of, I'm not really interested in it as a product. Um, I don't drink carbonated water all that much. Um, aside from drinking beer, I don't really care for carbonated beverages. But I'm telling you right now, I could drink a ton of this. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I could drink a lot of this. Um, I struggle to force myself to Not hydrate bad. every day sure. anyway, just as, right? And I always put a little lemon or a little lime in just plain water just to f help me force force it down. But, um, but I'm really digging this. And the, funny, the fact that you use mosaic, like right away, I can remember, it's bringing back memories actually of like what I look at almost like that fruity Pez-like Fruit Loop cereal yeah. mosaic quality, yeah, yeah. which is kind of interesting that it's actually, there is still though, I still get, whenever I open a package of hops and smell it, <laughs> I, it just smells like hops. Alex, it doesn't matter yeah. if it's Simcoe, Columbus, yep. Warrior, or Mosaic, I always go, smells like hop pellets. Yep. Um, so I am getting some of that 
here, but there is a little bit of that fruitiness, which maybe, maybe I'm just experiencing hot pellet with lemon juice. Yeah, I think um, that's what you're experiencing. But it's, mm. uh, but man, it's actually uh, really, really drinkable. I can definitely see people who like, like seltzer type products with a little more carbonation in it, how people would really dig on this. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, um, it's actually way better than I thought it would be. And I would, I'm now tempted to say, geez, maybe I would make a keg of this myself because my wife drinks a lot of carbonated mm. water and she loves IPA. So this might, this, this might be work. it. This could be it. Um, this has only been in here for just over two days. So yeah. probably another day, it could be a little more spritzy. And did you use tap water? Yes, I did. That was going to be my last step. Yep. So I can taste the tap water. <laughs> I, like, I can could. definitely taste our tap yeah, water. Yeah. Our tap water sometimes has like a, almost like a garden hose type of, mm. of presence to it, mm. um, which I assume to be chlor chlorine in the water. Yep. Um, it's not bad, the rest of the qualities are great. I would love to try this. If I try this myself, I would definitely try it with like bottled spring water, yeah. or for that matter, even some RO water. Yep, right Just on. to see, um, but I mean, like I said, I would drink yep. that whole keg um, of this. It's really cool. There That's actually go. worked way better than I thought it was going to be. Nice. Okay. Let's move on to hop tea. Um, I mean, I think some of these products I see, uh, online that are being sold commercially have all those new, um, uh, functional mushrooms and or adaptogens or nootropics, like all these, like you're blowing my I'm mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, um, in any case, um, I tried this. This is based from a comment on YouTube from a guy named Tim Dexter. And he said, you know, he asked, like, well, I've been asked in the past, have you guys ever made hop teas or have you ever had hop teas? And I said, I've, I've made some myself, just like hot water in a mug and like <laughs> put some pellets in there and said, ah, I don't know. Yeah, the classic could... way of trying right. to sample uh, aroma qualities of a palettes exactly. just in hot water, right? But nothing to like consume like uh, in mass quantities, that's for sure. Mm. I'm just interested, I wanna see what this is all about. Anyway, so he actually combines uh, a bunch of stuff with um, soda water or um, seltzer um, to try to get some more uh, spritz in there. I can tell right away that doesn't have a lot, but let's go through the recipe. I took a thousand uh, milliliters of water Again, uh, same tap water. Um, heated that to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 71 degrees Celsius. I uh, took 20 grams of citra hops. So these are just hops I had from uh, good old beer wine hobby and their uh, foil packs. And I was like, well, I don't know when I'm gonna use these. Why don't we make a hop tea out of them? Um, in that heated water, uh, these citra hops, uh, the pellets were steeped for um, 10 minutes. Um, in that, I took uh, also uh, 60 grams of sugar and then one tea bag. It was a Scottish breakfast tea. Thought that would uh, resonate with you. And uh, let that, in the last five minutes of the steep of the, of the hops, I just put the whole bag in uh, into a French press. This was all going into a French press so I could Okay, so you opened like the tea bag itself yeah, and put let, that it, let it swim free? Let it swim free, okay. yes. Along with the hot pellets because I needed to strain those out too. So after the end of that 10 minutes, I strained it, put a funnel on each of these bottles, filled it up halfway with the mixture, and then the rest of the bottle was filled with um, soda water. Huh. So like one to two ounces, but probably... You know, I didn't really measure that out. It was just really to fill it up and give it some bubbles. So that's the beverage. Um, again, like I was telling you before, we started rolling here. I had that, the, the rest of the mixture that was in the French press um, that was at, you know, basically high, higher than room temperatures. And I got such a buzz, <laughs> like a caffeinated buzz from really? it. Yeah, I don't know, it was the combination of the sugar the the caffeine and the hops and i was just like whoa so it's one tea bag mm. in a liter of water mm -hmm. that's weird i mean as far as like that you'd you'd feel that much of a caffeine punch um maybe i was like actually ingesting the leaves so i'm intrigued like the color of it i'm intrigued by the aroma the aroma is definitely fresh hop bag um I'm getting a little bit of, 
I, so I'm a big tea drinker for mm -hmm. people who don't know. Right? I, I drink, you know, maybe two or three cups of tea a day. So, I mean, like, and I have a bunch of different varieties of tea that I like to have. Um, so uh, there is a slight tea aroma to it. Um, I'm definitely getting the raw hop aroma. Yep. There might be a little bit of, um, I, was, I was trying to place it a little bit. There might be like a underripe, like mango essence to it. Um, or maybe like somewhere in that, yeah, it's underripe mango, pineapple maybe. Um, the flavor though, I'm not digging the flavor. There's a little bit of like a, maybe it's because it's one tea bag in so much water, there's a little bit of like a tannic note yeah, there on the is. back yep. end of it. Yep. And um, there's definitely, like a, so some bitterness there too. Um, the sugar is at the right amount because it's not really sweet, but it's definitely sweetened. Yep. Um, and it certainly is balancing all those other flavors. Um, I would like it to be a little more tea forward. Like I think that yeah. recipe needs more tea. Well, yep. but I'll also say when, again, when you pitch this idea as something to do and you said hop tea, I thought we were just gonna do like steeped pellets in water from like a sampling standpoint. I didn't realize we we're actually gonna have hopped Tea. Why not? That's man. great. I, I, so that's cool. Yeah. Um, for me, flavor-wise, I think it just needs a little development yeah. uh, of the ratios. So, to his credit, Tim um, doesn't have tea in his recipe, but okay. I did because okay, I wanted to see, you know, because cool, I wanted to do a, a spin on it. Because if we're going to do this hop water, which is really hmm. just spiked seltzer, so, 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 so seltzer with hops in it. Yeah. So this is. Just what? Cold brew. Yeah. It's okay. cold, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, right? Like you, this, the, the, where this is like a hot steep of some hop and the tea, hmm. the tea leaves together, right? So um, I'm more into this. I'm way more into this than I am this. I think this has got some interesting potential. Um, I love the concept of it. Um, I think it just needs more tea kick. And again, the same thing with the water, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Right? A little cleaner water profile. So it. it might be something where, you know, I bring down, because his ratios were like, um, I think his was like two, 200 milliliters and four grams of hops, and yeah. I just like, you know, times that by five. So that's why I came up with yeah, that. Yeah, there's a ton more hop here, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, so that's why I bring in that hop yeah. down. I think even some of that astringency is just like raw hop, like material, hmm. right? getting pulled out like tannins, uh, polyphenols coming around those hops. So it's interesting. It's good. It's not as good as this. Well, this no, is good. I, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I, this, I, 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 I tried to throw you a curveball. I would, I probably would, uh, if I would were to work on this again, I can bring like, that's the one thing about these recipes, man. You try them out and then you say like, okay, yeah. just bring this lever down, bring this lever up. And you know, we might actually have something here. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, that's our, uh, foray into like, Doing an alternative, alternative hop beverage. Hop beverages? Um, cool. uh, again, you know, it's it. it we're kind of spurned on by like how many ads we were getting for, you know, these uh, beverages that are you know beer like or at least have hops in them and could be something that you drink for a whole month if you wanted to, to take a break from beer. Um, so. Again, just like any other beverage that you can make at home, you know, we've made meat on the show, we've made wine on the show, we've made cider, just another, uh, you know, experimentation with it all. So if you've had experience um, like Tim or any, um, you know, making these kinds of things, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, so leave a comment below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to our channel because we do this kind of thing every single week for John and Mike, brewdashdudes.com. I don't know. Hop tea on. Cheers. <laughs>